Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Greatness Engineering Hour show. It is a pleasure, always a pleasure to come to you wherever you are. And I hope you're going to enjoy again another show with the people that I call champion and greatness engineer. Today, we got to talk about a book, a book that's just been released and just giving you, you know, a little bit of, you know, uh, the visual aspect of the book, The Glory of His Presence, a 90 daily. Uh, the 90 days daily devotional. And today I have one of the co-author, um, Mrs. Um, Mrs. Miriam Wright. She's one of the co-author of the book. So we're going to talk about uh, a chapter, really understand, you know, what this book is all about and what is really, you know, what is the message and uh, what is the, what do, do we want the reader to to gain from, from that particular book. So my name is Murray, Murray Tulekima. You know me as the greatness engineer. And as I said, it's always a pleasure to come to where you are. This show is brought to you by the Murray Tulekima Global Leadership Organization. And I also always make sure that you have the right people, people who can share their experience, their expertise to make sure that you get inspired and use whatever is shared today to go to the next level of your greatness. So just to give you a little bit, you know, uh, of background about um, my guest today. So my guest is Miriam Wright. She's a certified Dreams Life coach, and she's a number one international Amazon best-selling author because the particular book that we're going to talk about is a bestseller. So don't go anywhere. And like I said, we're going to talk about, you know, the glory of his present 90 days. So sit tight, have a pen and paper because there's always so much to learn. And don't hesitate. If you're watching live, don't hesitate to participate, to have a, ask any question or just, you know, be part of the conversation because this show is for you. And we really have the intention for you to be really, you know, active and ask questions because it is about your greatness. It is about you going to the next level of your greatness. So let's start and have an inspiring conversation with Miriam right today. Don't go anywhere. We are starting. Episode of the Greatness Engineering Hour Show, the show that is brought to you by the Birai Telekima Global Leadership Organization. What feel is important is if you just look at the word compassion, when uh -huh. it's behavior, it's uh -huh. something that can be learned and it is something that we can embody through habits and through our daily actions. To get this idea that if we interject this wisdom intentionally, mm -hmm. uh, it is, it, I call them needle movers, it's the needle mover that's missing. Mm -hmm. Um, don't deprive the world of your greatness. Please. Don't do that anymore. You know, dare to excel, dare to be sexy, dare to be you, dare to be the best version of yourself. Uh, impact yourself positively and from, from there, impact others. And you are not alone.
So welcome, welcome, Miriam, to the Greatness Engineering Show. It is a pleasure to host you. And it is really a pleasure to have to, you know, talk about the last best-selling book that you are part of. And congratulations on that. But before we delve into, you know, knowing a little bit more about the book, I just want you to introduce yourself and let us know who you are and what is, you know, what is your passion? Good morning, good afternoon. I'm not sure where in the world everybody is today, but hello. Um, thank you so much for having me. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Miriam M. Wright. I am a dream life coach um, with uh, Right Way to Your Dreams, LLC. I support, empower, and educate women to own their power, boldly step into a life they truly desire by facing their fears, building their confidence, and making their dreams a reality in my God-given um, transformational program. It's called Dreams, mm -hmm. where you will discover desire to bring realization as you explore action to manifest success. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that's really, you know, that's really an important, especially, I mean, as we talk about greatness here, I can see that, you know, there is obviously, you know, you empowering people. So basically helping them to step into their own greatness and, you know, identify their gift and really live, the, you know, their dream. And, you know, um, we obviously here to talk about the book, the last book that, uh, you know, you were part of as a, as a co-author. And uh, one of the questions that I have is just to know about, you know, what is, you know, the book about, you know, especially your chapter and uh, what led you to be part of this particular anthology? Um, well, I want to thank um, Shirley Murphy and Allison G. Daniels for their visionary in this, um, in this project. Um, when Shirley asked me, I, I thought about it and I thought, is a devotional. It's when uh, when people read the Bible in the morning and they do you get inspiration. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, why not? Let's um, let me just give them some inspiration to get going in the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I, I wrote five uh, different uh, chapters for five different days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and, and what is, you know, obviously, you know, um, you, you were thinking about, the, you know, a devotional, but what do you really want, you know, the uh, reader to take from, you know, whatever you wrote and those devotional? What is the key thing that you, you think, uh, you know, it, the re any read, reader going to read your chapter? needs to understand or the message that they the strong the message that they will they need to get that god is present in every moment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. you wake up when during the day when you go to bed at night he is present mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people, you need to remember that and and that's something sometimes that's difficult to you know to remember, especially with everything that is happening nowadays. Things are going so fast that people forget that you know uh, you know even if it goes fast, even if you know things are difficult, they have to go back to God. So what are what are the key things? And and I think as part of your empowerment work as well, what are the key uh, you know, processes or tools or strategies that you, you, you actually, you know, recommend to always think about this presence around, especially in, in time of, you know, when we are, we are challenged and, and when we are really down in, in, in something that we've done, or, you know, when we have a, a big obstacle that or problem that we can't solve. For me, it would be a gratitude journal. Mm -hmm. Thank God for for the little things. Thank God for the big problems. Because mm -hmm. for some reason, he put you there. For some reason, he wants you to go through that problem. Mm -hmm. you need, we need to learn something from that. And so I thank him. I thank him for the little, little steps. Thank him for the big steps. It's always there. Mm -hmm. Life. 
He programmed our life before we were born. So he knows what we're going to go through. And for some reason, he wants us to go through that step. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so thank, mm -hmm. thank and, you, and, for, you know, for learning that lesson. And and that's and that's something to remind people because you know um, when everything is you know is going well we actually forget sometimes to thank God we're kind of you know in another world we we forget about him but it's when we are down that we kind of go to him when we don't have any you know option anymore we do, we go to him but it's important like you said that we thank him for the little thing but also for the big thing and thank him for the the challenge because at the end of the day you know we still learn something from that challenge as it's a learning experience as well and that's that's something that we we shouldn't be you know we, sh we shouldn't forget but i think I, I mean you know when you know obviously people forget so what are the, you know, what is the breakthrough, you know, when, because you, you said, okay, we have to think that when someone don't know that, what are the breakthrough or the, the, the thing that we need to do, especially if you have someone in the family that's still not, you know, very, um, you know, doesn't understand this, this type of philosophy? I would say show them, show them your life. Mm -hmm. Like uh, my friend and I always say, we're going to shine our light because we want people to see what's happening to us. Mm -hmm. So through us, they are like, oh, what she got? I mm -hmm. want that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to live so they see, you know, you have to show them through what you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's important because you can't actually, um, you know, teach someone and you're not actually right. applying what you teach. So, uh, and, and I think, you know, it, it comes really like, you know, what's Gandhi was, you know, be the leader that you want to see in the world. And that's important to, for us, you know, when we, we, we share that type of message to actually also leave it so that because i think for people when they can see it they actually believe it and they can actually you know um you know emulate and try to do this the same thing so we're gonna have a small break and we'll come back to delve a little bit more uh you know on uh, in the book and in how it aligns actually with your work and the philosophy you know the philosophy that you've always you know believe and um so we'll, we'll have a short break and we will be back uh you know with you to to talk about the book okay hello everyone my name is yenka abioye and i'm the chairman of the festac africa festival we've got a week a great week planned for you in the beautiful city of Kisumu in Kenya from the 20th to the 26th of May 2024. We cannot wait to have you out there. And we invite everyone, not only on the African continent, but on the diaspora. It's an opportunity for all of us to come together once again, as we do every year to celebrate Africa Month and especially Africa Day, which is the last week of May. We have a great, great, great program planned for you. Culture and arts is the base of our getting together. So there will be culture and arts from all over the world, especially from all the 47 counties of Kenya and all the eight countries of East Africa, and of course the other African continents, as well as the, our, our friends and families out of the Caribbean. But the week is not only about culture and arts, because that's the basic thing that brings all of us together. We actually use that as a platform to bring all of us together in doing more than that. It's a week packed with a lot of information for us to learn. The event is, is planned and scheduled to capture any part of our lives. The, the old, the young, the male, the female, the youth, there's always something in there for everyone. The world is coming to Kenya, and I am going to Kenya. La 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 festa, la 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 festa. Kisumu dala, karibu karibu, karibu karibu.
Ibu Mama Africa Say welcome to Kenya Music, arts and culture Festival Africa Our traditions and carnival Welcome to Festa Food and texture Welcome to Festa Craft and sculpture African banana Coconut and samba Can get on the reggae Dance of Kamakosa Dance of Afro Jam Rock La 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 festa La 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 festa From the 20th to the 26th of May 2024 Kisumu, Kenya welcomes you to Vestak, Africa. <laughs> the world is coming to Kenya. Thank you. So we are back with Miriam. And as you could see, there's First Africa coming up in May. So if you really want to be there to know everything about Africa, please, you know, go there because it is an amazing event. And today and this this year, they're coming with new things again. So Miriam, just wanted to ask you, you know, um, you know based on, you know, the chapter that you've, you've written. Um, so first, do you know why 90 days and, you know, for, for this devotional? But then also um, wanted to know um, exactly, you know, what, is what do you think is important to uh, you know to to actually continue to have a sustainable relationship with God? Um, why the ninety days? I think, um, like they say, when you when you create habits mm -hmm. in that in that amount of time, you learn to like do it daily. Like repeat, mm -hmm. repeat, repeat. And so I think that's why, because I've done, we've done one before that was 365 days. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of days. Yeah, <laughs> so that's a lot of days. And do it, right. Mm -hmm. So 90, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like you're, you're training to, to get, mm -hmm. to do that daily. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The second part of your question was, what what do you think is you know um, how do we, can we get a sustainable relationship with you know with God you know what are you know obviously this devotional is part of the strategy that you know um, you giving the readers to actually create this sustainable uh, you know relationship but what do you think is key you know what are the key key thing I would say the two two or three key things that are important to build a really sustainable relationship with God. Connect with him daily. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, two minutes. Uh, my friend and, and I, we meet every morning and we read mm -hmm. from Jesus Calling and we, mm -hmm. read the Bible, we read the verses and that gets you going. Mm -hmm. But some people don't have that time. So, just like during the day, thank you, God. Uh, you don't even have to say that. Like some people, are like I'm at work, I can't, I can't pray. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. You can pray right here. Mm -hmm. You can pray. He He hears you. He knows you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. constantly connect, connect. Let Him know that you're there. Mm -hmm. Let Him know that you know that He's there. Yeah. And, and I think it's important what you say, because sometimes we think that it has to be a formal thing. You have to go to church like every Sunday or go mm -hmm. to, pray, you know, Friday prayer or anything. But sometimes it's just about this one or two sentence that you tell God or even just two, you know, your 10 minutes of silence, just, you know, going through your thought and thinking about God. That's that's something that can you know maintain this relationship uh, with God, and really making sure that in in the during the day we have a time where it's really dedicated to Him, and and I think that's uh, that's an important thing to say because sometimes you know people get picked up because they miss mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. they, they miss church or they miss and. It becomes really a difficult a challenge for some people to say, you know, to think that uh, they might think that they don't have any, they don't have any opportunity to really, you know, 
connect with God, but as you said, it has to be a daily, a daily thing that uh, you know that is important. When but it comes, so when it really comes down to it, is is the relationship between you and Him? Mm -hmm. Because it's good to have a church family. It's good to have other, you know, where, where two or more are gathered. There He is. But at, at the end, is you and Him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Wherever mm -hmm. you are, talk to Him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, I mean, in uh, in in the book. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I know I asked you already, but what is the, in a way, the key message? You know that that this book mm -hmm. is you know sending to the world, basically. Trying to transform lives. Trying to open um, open up. Um, like visions, not visions, but um, open people up to what um, it's really out there. Mm -hmm. um, I think it is um, it's good that it's a devotional because most people do devotionals in the morning, like I said. Mm -hmm. But any time of the day, you can do it before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. But just doing it daily doing it daily. Um, most of the things I wrote, I think, were like in the morning, like, like um, me greeting the morning, greeting the, greeting the day. Um, but you can, you can read that any time of the day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so it's basically something that you can just put in your bag, bring out and just, you know, uh, you know, when you, for people travel, you know, by train or even if you go for a walk or anything, that's something very handy that you can just grab and, and read. And, and I think that's also uh, a good, a good thing because like mm -hmm. I said, people are so busy. Sometimes, you know, yeah. you basically have to bring something practical and really should send and that really fit into you know, their schedule instead of them, you know, carrying the Bible in a way and trying to read, you know, some of the, you know, obviously you'd still need to read the Bible, but at least they have already, you know, they, they, if they can't read the Bible that day, they can actually, you know, get this devotional and, and continue to have this connection uh, with God. So that's, uh, that, that's really the most important thing. So, but how do, obviously you are a, a dream like coach. How do you think this, this book, this book connect with the work that you're doing as a dream like coach? Um, making you aware, making you, um, because for uh, the dream, I have you have to the desire. Mm -hmm. What is it that you truly desire in this life? Mm -hmm. we, we only get one life. Yeah. So what is it you truly desire? You only get one chance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, to realize, realize that whatever you think, whatever your mind says or thinks, you can make, you can envision it and put yourself there. Mm -hmm. Um, explore the possibilities. There's so many possibilities out there. So, I mean, so many. You don't have to stick to one. Mm -hmm. And some people realize, oh, I, I, thought, I thought I needed this, but no, I need this. Mm -hmm. um, take action. Take action. Start little steps. You don't have to go to the moon tomorrow. Take little steps. Little steps. Because if not, you're not going to ever get there. Mm -hmm. and manifesting, the art of manifesting, mm -hmm. which connects with thanking God. Mm -hmm. Thanking God for everything, everything that he gives you. Manifest. Mm -hmm. Manifest it. Um, my quote that I like is, today is the yesterday. Today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And life, I mean, life, time is a gift. Life is a gift too, but time mm -hmm. is a gift. And we get 8,000, I don't know how many seconds in a day. Are we living 
we only need eight hours to sleep. Some people eight hours to work. What do you do with the rest of the time? Hmm. That's a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you don't know if you're going to get the same. I, 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 I say it's a check. You get $8,460 today when you woke up this morning. How are you going to spend that money? Are you going to get the same money tomorrow? You may not be here. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do today? How are you and, going to and, manifest the life you want today? And sometimes that's the question. And, um, you know, I was talking to one of the, um, the, the guests a uh, few, uh, few weeks ago. And it was about, you know, us being afraid of knowing ourselves, being afraid of really having this reflection time, whatever you just mentioned now, having this reflection time of knowing what are we going to do with, you know, what are we doing with our life? But what are we going to do with, you know, what's the check that we have, basically? So how are we going to spend it? Do we know or do we just you know, spend without knowing where we're going. And that's that's the challenge of a lot of people right now where um, they think that they actually don't have any control. And yet from what you've just described, it's up to us, you know, obviously mm -hmm. with God guiding us, but it's up to us to explore the possibilities, to take actions, to manifest, and really believe, you know, that uh, whatever we think will will happen, mm -hmm. and that's that's always the the big challenge. And 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 one thing that I want to ask you for, you know, uh, people that you work with, obviously, when you come across this type of challenge, mm -hmm. what do you? Um, well, one thing I'm when you when you talked about reflection, it, it reminded me. Mm -hmm. One thing, one thing I have them do is stand in front of a mirror. Do you really look at yourself in the mirror? You you look at yourself in the mirror to put on makeup. You look at yourself in the mirror to brush your teeth, maybe to comb your hair. But do you see you? So I have them look in the mirror for three minutes to stare, stare at themselves for three minutes and then write down three words that describes the person they saw. Mm -hmm. And then go to three different friends or family members and ask them to give them three words that they think describes them. Mm -hmm. And we compare what the world is seeing and what they are seeing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And and most of the time, just for, for you know my, my own understanding, is it that different? Or is it you know, <laughs> it is more different, or is it They're kind of you a lot different than what you see yourself? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's and 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 that's quite a interesting, you know, to mm -hmm. to know that because sometimes and 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 the thing is, what do we focus on? Because it's different. So, right. and 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 I think that's the that's what is difficult if, you know, people see us differently and we see ourselves, you know, in a, in a total opposite. So who do we believe? Do we believe ourselves right. or do we believe the world? Right. And then <laughs> you kind of have to do a mind, you know, like put it all together. Mm -hmm. who, who, who do you, now who do you think you are? This is what they see. This is what mm -hmm. you see. Now, who do you really think you are? Mm hmm Mm -hmm. This is what mm -hmm. you're giving to the world. This is what you're radiating to the world. This. Mm -hmm. This is what you're radiating to yourself. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it must be a, a shock for a lot of people. But uh, I think it's a, it's a great exercise to go mm -hmm. through. And, mm -hmm. to, you know, to bring us back to really think about, you know, who we are and what we stand for and uh, how we relate to the world, because uh, sometimes we don't actually know how we relate we to the world. Know. And um, in a lot of instances, we need to work with people. We need to, you know, especially even with our families, we need to raise our kids. We need to, you know, uh, relate to partners. So, but Yes, it can be very difficult if we don't know who we are and how to relate to them. 
Um, so that's that's really the the, the challenge here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna have a break and we'll come back to for the last part of the you know of of the show. And uh, for those who are joining us today, just now, my guest today is Miriam uh, M. Wright. She is a certified dream life coach and it is also uh, an international Amazon bestseller offer. And today we are talking about um, a latest book, but also talking about the work and how this book actually relate to what she does. And just to give you an idea, the, the, the title of the book is The Glory of His Presence. And uh, 90 days daily devotional, and this 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 book was written under under the visionary of of Shirley Murphy and Reverend Alison Daniel. So, uh, we'll we'll come back and let you know where you can find the book. But for for now, we're gonna have a, a break, and we will be back to talk about you know to have an idea of you know where you can find the book and have uh, Miriam last message for us today. Thank you. So just as, as a news after, you know, this show, we will have a replay of, um, of uh, Janelle Harris, um, you know, show. And Janelle has been working with us on this show uh, um, organization she exists it is one of our you know uh co-sponsor and janelle will be with us uh you know um again uh, uh we're replaying her, the show that she had we had with her two weeks ago uh in about you know uh, in the evening in the u.s but here in in perth australia it will be morning time 8 a.m mm -hmm. so just going to give you uh you know a, a, a short you know um video on what we've talked about and i know you're going to enjoy the show later on you have to own it you have mm -hmm. to own you you know and and those wisdom that has he left and instilled in me that is what drives me to think the next dimension we allow fear to hold us back we do mm -hmm. what it right um and fear don't completely allow us to grow right um i don't think it's more so being afraid of success i think it's more the fear of allowing you to grow you know we have so many other compartments of us and get to know yourself when you get to know yourself you get to understand who you are and when you understand who you are you are able to work at your full capacity right and and i feel fear we are afraid to know ourselves you know what that looks like being alone i'm a loner i love mm -hmm. that space um get into yourself what makes you happy where's your peace i get to my highs and lows all the time and, and i realize too many of that's a part of me because mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. part of when i get into those lows is am i doing enough um am i doing enough self-evaluation so i'll start to stop calling it like depression you know it's mm -hmm. highs and mm -hmm. lows and 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 when you get to know yourself sometimes you get real low because you realize so many things that you've allowed in your life or you realize so many things that you did not do because mm -hmm. of your own mindset you know what i mean and and i want to leave that with so many people because we're scared to know ourselves we're scared to really love ourselves because we feel that oh we need to do this we need to do that oh we need you know knowing yourself gives you the freedom of life So knowing yourself gives you the freedom of life. That's just what we were talking about is, you know, 
getting to do this exercise that you talked about looking at ourselves for free you know three minutes and then also asking people around us or people in our network what they think about us and really get to know ourselves until we do that it becomes really you know difficult so um Miriam, just, you know, before we leave the platform, and uh, that's something that I really, you know, I like asking my, my guests is, you know, what is the message that you want us to, you know, to leave, you know, uh, you know, after we finish here? And what is the legacy that you want to leave? The message, my message is today is the day. Step out in faith today because no one is guaranteed tomorrow. And I learned that the hard way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, nope. Yeah, today is the day. Today is the day. So because mm -hmm. no one is guaranteed tomorrow, you have to understand that today mm -hmm. is the day. And this is a strong, you know, a strong thing because sometimes we forget that we are here just you know it's a, just a, a journey for us you know, you know we're not here we're not eternal so we have to think about you know enjoying you know what we have enjoying and like you said we we have to thank god for the small steps and for the big ones and when we are challenged we have to thank him because it's an experience that help us to grow that help us to you know uh, know ourselves and 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 really grow as a human being and step into the greatness that god gave you so thank you so much miriam for being mm -hmm. with us today um, how do people connect with you if they want to know about your work or, you know, get, you know, to, um, to know a bit more about the book? Because obviously with the time that we have, it's very difficult to talk about everything. Uh, my website is right way to your dreams with the W mm -hmm. right way to your dreams.com. My email is coach C O A C H. M I R I A M M W mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And my phone number is 407 484 7537. And that's also with WhatsApp. Okay, fantastic. And how do we get the book? Where can we find the book if we want to uh, have a copy? Right now, you could get it on Amazon or you mm -hmm. can. Uh, text me at that number mm -hmm. and I will uh, give you the, the links. Okay, not a problem. Like I said, thank you. It's been a pleasure, Miriam, to have you on the Greatness Engineering Talk Show. It's been a pleasure to tap into your uh, your wisdom and, and really, you know, get to, to know the work that you're doing, the empowerment work that you're doing. And also, you know, get those strategies and uh, and that you've just shared. And the three minute strategy, I think I'm gonna have to do it as well because, uh, you know, it, it, it's I'm always curious to know what's gonna be the difference, you know, between what right. I think about myself and what people think about me. And, mm -hmm. it, and it's gonna be a good learning for me to improve myself and to mm -hmm. grow as a, you know, as a human being. So thank you for sharing that. And um, and I wish you all the best with the book and with everything that you do. Uh, and uh, and don't hesitate, you know, to connect again. Um, so it's been a, a real pleasure. And for the audience, I hope you took note because um, it has been a good, you know, a good, uh, insightful and inspiring conversation in a way. And don't forget to continue to have a sustainable, you know, um, a relationship with God, even just, you know, one minute sitting down, not saying anything, but thinking about God communicating in your head with God is enough. You don't have to be, you know, guilty of not going to, uh, to church every single Sunday mm -hmm. or going to every single, you know, evening prayer. It's just, you know, making sure that you take the time in your busy schedule 
for God and to have this, uh, you know, this sustainable uh, relationship. So that's all for today. Like I said, we are going to have Janelle um, as a replay uh, later today for uh, all the audience in the US. Uh, that's going to be 8 p.m. Eastern. And that's going to be for me. I'll have to go and sleep and wake up at 8 a.m. to watch it again. So that's how, you know, the world is, uh, is so, you know, amazing. So thank you again. And thank I'll be back. So from, it was a pleasure. <laughs> it was a real pleasure. Thank you for your time. I know that technology almost, you know, uh, you know, maybe, you know, we had a problem, but we made it with, you know, God's help. Yes. And you've been able to really, you know, share your message and bring greatness to our, our platform. So thank you very much. Thank That's you. all for today. And I will be back for another episode of the Greatness Engineering Hour show live next week. So take care and God bless you all. You too. Bye bye. This a reminder. This a reminder. I said, what's up, pop? You do it. Yeah. I'm built this. You never want. Don't get me back. But it's not sad. Pop to the pepper than a what? Oh. Ha, 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 Words that you say. This a reminder. Love what they make. Oh, 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 o